but also for real, for real, we really got to learn how to control our emotions and our ego. Just stop letting these nigga moments and ego battles get us killed. For real, man. Listen, gang. Welcome back to the channel, man. It's your boy, Jimmy Gang, man. As you can see, same fit, which means I recorded a couple videos in the same day putting it at work for you. But listen, man, I'm back, man. I'm here talking about nigga moments and ego battles, bro. Listen to this news clip, man. Rest in peace to my man, uh, Stephen Stewart, man. I didn't know the man, but he was a Bronx resident from Jamaica originally, but he was from, lived in the Bronx, bro. He was killed in a Dunkin' Donuts a couple days ago. 26-year-old Stephen Stewart, man, R.I.P. Check out this news clip, and I'm going to get back at y'all. Breaking news, a confrontation at a donut shop ends in a deadly shooting. And police sources say the man they're looking for may have pulled the trigger because of where the victim was standing. Good evening, I'm Christine Johnson. Maurice is off tonight. The NYPD says the argument inside a Bronx Dunkin' Donuts spilled out into the street. And sources tell us a female customer accused the 26-year-old victim of getting too close and that is when she called her boyfriend for help. CBS 2's Corey James tells us what police say happened next. Balloons and candles were placed in front of 26-year-old Stephen Stewart's home. His family and friends who did not want their faces shown stood on the stoop and sidewalk mourning the loss, trying to understand why anyone would shoot their loved one, originally from Jamaica, who moved to the Bronx just three months ago. I'm surprised somebody would just hurt him like that over nothing. Stewart's aunt says her nephew was at this Dunkin' Donuts near Gun Hill Road and Holland Avenue in the Bronx. She says a witness told the family that a woman standing in line accused Stewart of being too close to her. Police say that woman then called her boyfriend, who then followed Stewart. Officers say they exchanged words before the suspect shot him about two blocks away. It's just sad. It's just sad. This neighbor says violence in this area happens often. I don't really feel safe, especially at night. During the day, yeah, taking the kids to school and bringing them back home, but not at night. And I'm surprised this happened during the day. So, like, now I'm confused. Stewart leaves behind his mother and two sisters who are in Jamaica, a family heartbroken over a sudden and senseless loss. For anyone that have any information about these people that killed my nephew, please help us because we don't really even know them ourselves. And loved ones say Stewart's mom was rushed to the hospital after she learned her son had been murdered. We're told he worked here in the city at a restaurant to support his family in Jamaica. In the Williamsbridge section of the Bronx, Corey James, CBS 2 News. And police say that there is video inside the store that shows the woman and the victim had no physical contact. That video has not been released at this hour. All right, gang, so check it, man. As you can see, Dunkin' Donuts. Let, let me paint the picture for you, man. You in a Dunkin' Donuts. It's crowded as hell. You in a Dunkin' Donuts. It's crowded as hell. You trying to get your shit. You in there for whatever. Maybe maybe one of your people sent you in there, whatever the case may be. You in there just trying to get your stuff. You know a good Dunkin' Donuts be small as hell as it is. I don't know if y'all know, but here in New York, our Dunkin' Donuts be small as hell. Mad tight. You know what I'm saying? So, you in there, you just trying to buy your stuff. A, a chick be like, yo, you too close to me. Why are you so close to me? So you be like, all right. Be like, yo, you see it's only a little bit of space in here. But it's like, what the fuck? Ah, you know what I'm saying? Like, hold, maybe maybe you respond nicely. Maybe you don't respond nice. Either way, it's New York City. We all aggravated. Boom. You just trying to get your stuff. Boom. You leave. A couple block, a couple, a couple uh, blocks down, a dude run up on you like, yo, what's up? Why you was all up on my bitch and Dunkin' Donuts? And you respond like, nigga, what the fuck is you talking about? Like, not when nobody was worried about your bitch, nigga. I'm over here trying to get my duck fucking... Donuts and shit, nigga, coffee, all this shit, nigga, bring shit back to my bitch, whatever the case may be. And the nigga be like, what? Nigga, fuck you talking about, nigga, I smack the shit out to you. Like, what? So what's up, nigga? And then he pull out a gun and just, boom, boom, blast you. Like, that shit is fucking nuts, bro. That's ego, ego battle nigga shit, bro. And niggas got to do better, bro, for real, man. Like, I'm tired of hearing these stories, man, seeing these stories. And I'm going to keep reporting and keep speaking on it, bro. Like, we got to do better, man. Like, bro. Dying over just going in the store to go get some donuts, bro. Like, and I, I can't, I can't blame the person who died because at the end of the day, they didn't decide to pull out a weapon. R.I.P. to that man. R.I.P. to that man, man. Stephen, Stephen Stewart, man. R.I.P. to that man, cause twenty six years old lost his life. Man, he made it all the way here from Jamaica, bro. Like, it's, they said he was working, supporting his family, working downtown, supporting his family back home in Jamaica, bro. And his life is over due to some nigga shit, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? And the person who killed him is still on the loose. You know what I'm saying? 
Like, it's crazy. Like, just listen, man, we got to do better as a people, bro. Stop. Next time you get into an argument with a nigga in the street, bro, if y'all got to just get it in real quick, fight it out, boom, 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 get it in, you know what I'm saying? Y'all could do that and leave it alone, boom, whatever it is, what it is. Sometimes niggas got to fight. But all that, like, bringing, pulling out the poker, pulling out the, 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 you know what I'm saying, the hammer and shooting niggas, bro. It's unnecessary, bro. Unless you're defending your life or your family life, your loved ones, because it's in danger, bro. You shouldn't be killing nobody, bro. Like, you fucking up your life and that person, bro. You taking them from their family and you taking yourself from your family. Because meanwhile, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, this nigga's on the run, but they already got cameras showing that he follows son from the Dunkin' Donuts. So it's like, bro, you're not, crime don't pay, my nigga. You're not going to get away with this shit. Like, stupid. R.I.P. to that, man. I'm off this, man. I just had to check in and speak my piece, bro. It's out of this shit, man. This shit happened like five minutes away from me. If I got in my car and drove, bro, is that the same Dunkin' Donuts that he and I been in there before, bro? I don't go in there often because I don't need to, but I don't like Dunkin' Donuts like that, like Starbucks. But that Dunkin' Donuts is five minutes from my career, bro. This shit disgusting. I'm off this for the night, though. I think it's my last video for the night. Gang, enjoy your weed. Enjoy your split, your wine, whatever it is you got today. I'm off this, gang.